Thank you. Uh, I have tried to recollect or reconcile with some books I have read previously and uh, some books through which I am going my flow of study in recent time. So going back to the books, it makes a brain sharper. The Art of Political Decision Making, um, Policy Paradox by Deborah Stone. There's a book which talks about this whole thing, actually. Decision Paradox Being Centrist and Anomalies. Okay? This book gives an idea how policy paradox happens or how the tangents of policy not quite move parallelly. Okay? Deborah Stone is a author. She is a literary figure. She talks about interdisciplinarity and she talks about policy being a part of politics for some point of time. Uh, the art of political decision making why? Then crops up the paradox and then the centrist and anomaly approach. If we are trying to regulate the society or the public through policy, then paradoxes are natural to be encountered with. Very much natural. This is what makes policy paradoxical in nature. Then, while making a decision, either you have to be a left or a right or a centrist, policy is always a centrist. Why? Why policy has to be centrist in nature? On a compass, while making a circle, you have to keep your sharp nail at a single point so that may, you can make a circumference. At every point, equidistant from the center. Why? Policy is at the center, people makes the circumference constituting the whole circle. Okay? You have to be the centrist anyways to alleviate the paradoxes involved. And then anomalies are very natural to happen within the contours of a policy discourse. Then, about this one. When Mohammed Yunus got a Nobel Prize being an Asian poor fellow from a less prominent country called as Bangladesh, which used to reel under extreme poverty, okay, and he revolutionized the idea of microcredit and got a Nobel Peace Prize, overnight he became a sensation. Okay? So what Muhammad Yunus opines is a world of three zeros. What are the three zeros? Zero means something very uh, fragmented with respect to the definition in Bombay. With zero. Zero is either collapse, zero is either the power. The power stakeholder at the right side of the currency note or the check, right? Or zero is something grounded, shattered, diminished, right? He talks about three zeros, poverty, hunger and work. Then comes emissions. Here it is. The new economics of zero poverty, zero unemployment and zero carbon emissions. This makes a state powerful and sustained and strong enough to resurrect itself from the samples of very poor things and to have a tucker with the globe at large. This is what the picture of Bangladesh is with respect to the notions of Muhammad Yunus. There are some excerpts of his Nobel speech. Today is a great day again. Fortunately, unfortunately, I don't know what. Today is two things. One for the globe, one for me. Okay? For the world, today is the Nobel Prize Day. People will be getting the awards physical way some minutes later on. And then for me, Today I took birth as a research scholar. On 10th December 2018, I had a baby. 
without a woman's intervention. I had a baby in form of my PhD thesis. That's the beginning of my academic life. 10th December again, 2018. So fortunately, unfortunately, today is the day. I am celebrating three years of my doctoral thesis. So, <laughs> does it make sense for zero unemployment? Does it make sense for zero poverty? But it made a strong dent on the surface of emissions. I have not emitted something since last eight, nine months. I'm still working. I'm waiting for a good battery operated vehicle so that my research will be actualized on the society. Oh, I'm becoming a pillion on some riders back, emitting petrol, diesel and everything. But still I'm not controlling. So what Muhammad Yunus opined to make some concentric zeros. Those concentric zeros should collaborate with each other and collapse within each other. So that these three factors could be or could become a reality as far as the Asian economies are concerned, including Bangladesh. He has criticized a lot to the HDIs, to the migration of MDGs to SDGs, making it more uh, very elaborate points for these things. But he has always talked about the zero. Microcredit initiative was a large zero. Bangladeshi Grameen Bank was a large zero. It was a joint venture. Mohammed Yunus and Bangladesh Grameen Bank. They both got Nobel Prize as an institution and as a formulator of the institution. So I consider him as a public policy maker. And then, these two things. I have to make this structure so that how policy becomes submerged. Okay, in this book, Understanding Public Policy, Thomas R. Dye talks about policies becoming dormant. After a point of time, we need new policies. This is what the summary of the book says. I have not read the whole book, confessing that. Okay, this is a very new book. And the editions are largely uh, becoming obsolete day by day because the editions are not so popular. But some very successful CEOs have advocated this book to understand what the discourse of public policy is all about. Then, when Suzanne Mettler talks about the submerged, she gives the example of how invisible government policies undermine American democracy. Okay? This is within the premises of public administration. How American democracy is performing in recent time and why she advocates this democracy to be submerged in nature. What is submerged? This is not about the titanic story of 1915. No. 1911? 1911. Policy integration. Policy? Integration. Policy integration is submerged. Okay. When a policy could not flow or further move forward, it becomes submerged. But the policy still floats. The policy has not been abolished, has not been drawn down back, still exists, but it is not giving any rejoice. This happens with a state and this mostly happens with a democracy. When the democracy becomes submersive in nature. It cannot perform, but still it's a democracy. Because it's, it's a mediocre system of functionality as far as mathematics is concerned or probability is concerned. It's a probabilistic idea that democracy will give us happiness. Democracy will form brighter nation states. Democracy is of by for the people, the public, right? The best form available to us at our disposal which is functional enough, which everyone can understand and become a part of and then deliver. This is what democracy is all about according to me. Okay? So the submerged democratic structuration what? Invisible government policies. When government policies become invisible, just like the bright example of Obamacare. Obamacare.
Obamacare became obsolete just after the arrival of the post-truth era by the great immediately after accession of the throne he withdrew United States of America from UNFCCC what? climate change idea the whole climate change gamble is a hoax according to him right climate change just doesn't exist so now we will be little lighter this one this is an edited one public policy evaluation functions on two aspects behavior and reason of both the public and the personnel with respect to our paper concern my dear first year students ok behavioralism of both the public and personnel policy depends on or the policy phase becomes bright because of these two aspects running or functioning parallel at the same flow otherwise the behavioralism aspect of a policy cannot yield results ok then the public policy evaluation also talks about these three things the organ system and environment the organs of a public structure the organs of a public structure must go through the systemic advance of the environment if the environment or the cordialness or the congeniality of the policy strand changes we must scrap the policy this happens mostly in the democracies policy needs to be reformulated, restructured and sometimes policy needs to be scrapped for a better policy to take force or take shape then at that point of time the policy needs a definite and concrete drawdown I am not uh, comparing it with the drawdown of forces from Afghanistan the drawdown of forces has legitimized violence in a very different way but still we have tried enough for democracy since the 2001 one agreement this is a bright example of public policy going into shambles after the intervention of more than 60 countries being a part of International Security Assistance Force ISAF, the conglomerate under the aegis of United Nations and European Union and the neighboring countries throwing off billions and billions of dollars and rupees and dinars for its state building process state building is not different than public policy if the public policy effectiveness of a state is in resonance with the intent of the government then it definitely keeps a concrete result this is my opinion so apart from behavioralism this book talks about organ system and environment now this is an assignment for all of you please Brains and eyes, all dropping of mind. Now you need to answer it. Please solve this riddle. Not looking at the uh, screen of the laptop. Thank you. What is this? This is a famous phrase. This is a famous phrase of policy. Jet the discussion colony in Ayurveda, this is a part of it. Not out of syllabus, which you often complain during or after the exams. Out of syllabus, they have a lot of follow-up, but you can move on. But come on, those are not those. What is this? Can anyone solve? He or she will be given a prize. Just like 
from South Korea, the previous one, before Anthony Guterres, who was there, who overthrew Sashi Tharoor and Sashi Tharoor came back to India after becoming the Under Secretary General, who? Ban Ki Moon. Okay, so this is by Yung Thang, the UN Secretary General. Apart from Kofi Annan, I consider this man great, who has talked a lot about the public policy of South Asian states, being a man of Myanmar. Okay. So everyone lost? I lost as well. This remains a riddle. 
Uma alça mexendo com a cabeça. Mas como é que eu acho? Não, não. Não, não. Não, não. Não, não. So these are the public policy challenges. Ajay, come more and go. Next class, we discuss for you. These are uh, the policy problems, which are not completely scientific or systematic, but they exist. Then the three elements of policy system. Next uh, class, we will solve for you. If you have 40, 60, or something, policy environment or policy stakeholders, who? Where do they come from? After understanding the previous problem. Then, what is the problem? What is the public policy? What is the model? Existing. With respect to the existing literature available. What is the Sakata model? Group institutional process, elite, rational, incremental, and systems model. What is the sort of graph? The Chitik Tami policy is only learning. A project of Delna. You have to establish an idea which model of public policy this constitutes. Go. Simple, it's very simple. Identification of a problem and demand for government action in the first step. Second step, formulation of policy proposals by various parties. Then policy legitimation through selection and enactment of policy. Then implementation of the chosen policy and then finally evaluation of the policy. Which type of, with respect to the terms, because these terms are not so tough. Group, institutional, process, elite, rational, incremental systems. These terms are very normal terms. So now guess for me, which model of, yes? System model. Incremental model. Incremental. Pahacho pahacho niche. Incremental. Very simple. With respect to the image. No. No. You are wrong. The way you are wrong. The way you are wrong. The way you are wrong. Adolf Hitler, Benito Mussolini? No. 
Saddam Hussein? No. Muammar Gaddafi? No. Then, who? Who else? The South Korean, uh, the North Korean one? Kim Jong Il and Kim Jong Un? <laughs> they did something, right? Which is common in nature. They brought on something which is called the great accession, great hunger for power, which made policy being strangulated. Policy strangulation of or the dream and aspiration strangulation of a state. Being overthinkers, overconfident people. So policy needs a process again. Okay? So we established a class, he established a chaos with respect to the factor of patience and impatience is concerned. If you will be patient enough, the policy will be rejected. This is about the public, not private. Okay? So thank you for the class. Answer question, Letter of the head of show. This is the process model. This is for the next class when I am to going uh, when I am going to elaborate what these models are. This is the process model which no one answered and then the answer of the question yes. this is a North American state or two North American states the driving norms of the United States of America Mexico, Canada, Latin American states Amongst the 22 European states, 16 have the same driving norm of the driver sitting on the left or the right? Right. Right. Okay. People entered the bus through which route? Through the window which is not seen. Then you can easily guess the direction to which the bus is going.